Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we're not on the homestead because the time has finally come where I can introduce you guys to our latest project and it is going to be nothing short of epic. For this next project, we are building a system powerful enough to get not one, but two houses off grid at the same time on one system. So here's the specifics of it. The mother and father live in the original brick built family home and their daughter and son-in-law with their two beautiful children live in this absolutely fantastic log cabin on the property and both of them run on the same electrical system. Now both of these houses are reasonably low consumption with only one electric shower in the main building and the log cabin using a gas cooker but we still need to build a system big enough that both houses can run comfortably without any interruption at the same time. So here's the equipment that we're gonna to use to do that. The main source of power is coming from 15 of these, 455 watt bifacial end type panels going on a ground mount, adding up to a total of 6.825 kilowatts, not including whatever the backside of each panel picks up. And guys, these things are huge. For comparison, I'm 5'11", and this panel's the same height as me. But it's not just about panels, it's about scalability. We have to build a system that the guys can add more to as time goes on. And that's why for the battery storage for this system, we're starting out with two Dynas Powerbox G2s with built-in Wi-Fi, fire suppression, and temperature control and heat pads to keep them warm on a cold day, adding up to 20 kilowatts. And the owners can then add to that as much as they want over time, increasing their storage indefinitely. So what control units and inverter are we going to use to regulate and supply all that power to both those buildings? Well, that's where it gets complicated. The owners had ordered the same Max-E 11 kilowatt generation one unit that we run down at our place. However, that order has gone horribly wrong. And this unfortunately is where I have to revoke any recommendation I've ever made in previous videos to buy from this company right here. So the owner went ahead placed his order for an item that was in stock, the Maxi 11 kilowatt, identical to what we have, which was then followed by a string of emails. Now the owner has gladly agreed to share those emails, in fact he volunteered, so that you guys out there, the good viewers, don't get caught the same way he did. They're gonna appear on screen for you, each one will appear for a few seconds. Feel free to pause and read them and uh, see for yourself. only thing that actually went right with this order was the refund. Having received his refund, the owner's now gone on and ordered the same units from a different company, gotten a much better deal, and we're going to meet him and hear his take on things now in a few seconds. But before we do that, I want to clear something up from you out there who aren't necessarily tech heads or people in the know. All of these units are made in China and various other factories around the world. Other companies then buy them in with their own branding on them. It's all the same unit, just with a different brand name on the front. These have gone through the generation two, this is the generation one, and they're now up to the generation three, and I believe Axpert was the first company to have the generation three of the max 11 kilowatts. So guys, do shop around and make sure you're getting the best value for your money because prices do range widely. So guys, this is John, one of the owners of the property. Um, who's good enough to actually let me come down and build this system with him and his father-in-law. So, John, what was it that made you want to get off-grid? Um, I suppose really the main thing is like soaring energy costs here and there. Any excuse kind of to, there's a war or anything, everything seemed to change to the bills and they're quite high even though we don't use a whole lot. And, uh, yeah, it's just insecurity in that sense, I suppose. Okay. And, I mean, what made you sort of choose off-grid as opposed to grid tight? I just couldn't really see the sense in the grid tight system when I could see, like, your own place and different place in operation that you can keep this energy yourself. Yeah. That you're not buying back uh, your own product. 
if you could store it, why not store it? Mm. And like the grant system, the, the, the money for that has gone down drastically and the costs okay. are... Seem, I've, I've researched some places with different things and it would have cost a lot more even than what we're doing now. And we would have had to sell it back to power. So yeah. to me, I'm happier this way anyway. So um, what do you think of the whole Volticon debacle? Uh, a very, very unusual uh, scenario of buying a product in this day and age. Like to not want to give you something you bought, but yet there was no reference to, to, to what you had to be to buy it to begin with. Okay. Like it didn't say you must have another Volticon Maxi 1 mm. in order to buy this one. So then email after email, strange behavior, phone calls, constant coercive behavior to buy another one. Yeah. Eventually we ended up on a Generation 3 by the end of it. Like we didn't even have a Generation 3 when we started the whole mm-hmm. issue. It was ordered 25th of June and it still wouldn't have been here in two weeks' time. With a constant tune and throwing. It, it, like at times it was resolved and then it just came straight back at, oh, why don't you take this one now? You know, it's a, it's a strange, like if you go into the shop, you want to be able to buy something that's there on the shelf. And that's the way it was advertised to me. It was on the shelf in their website. I paid the money. There was no issue. Then the issue started once I bought it. That, that, they had that listed in stock yeah, on the website. Click it. Yeah. Pay your money. You imagine it'll land within a week or two. But And they kept trying to, not only did they delay the project by over a month at this stage, yeah, but they well kept over. trying to insist that you accept smaller units of lesser value yeah. than what you had actually paid And for. like they kind of made it out like that I was silly like, or stupid or right. that I wasn't intelligent to understand what they were trying to tell me. Yeah. That this is better and why don't you take this? But yet when I asked for a comparison, which I have emails of as well, the only difference was an LED screen <laughs> and two outputs rather than one. So if that's the major t- change, why try and push it so hard at me? Yeah, no, it is, it is. I said it was, it was resolved at one point for a day or two, and then it just went back. Once I questioned when I'd have it, we went back to trying to push me that they had their other products there ready to give me. I think there was a delay in production, and they just didn't want to tell me that, whereas if they had said that from the start, it would have been easier for them and me. There was a general, what would you call it, bad, bad behaviour and bad faith, untrustworthy. Yeah, you know, it's not something we expect. So I suppose all that's left to do now, really, is talk about what's actually coming. Yeah. So, so what, what did you order instead? So I bought two 11 kilowatt EA Sun inverters. You were able to get two of them. Same Maxi 11 kilowatt. For less money. For less than what the one yeah. Maxi cost from Volta. Yes, which was strange, I thought. And I thought it was too good to be true, and I hope I'm wrong. But let's, we'll see about that one. I think it's, look, it's specs speak for themselves. So once they arrive here, it should be the same. Yeah, that's it. it. It is the same unit with just a sticker on the front. They're all clones of the same um, Axpert unit. They're just sold under different brand names. So instead of the one 11 kilowatt inverter, John is now going to get two of them, totaling 22 kilowatts of output from his system. So all that's left to do now is to actually assemble it. And that's where we're going to take it up in the next video, folks. I do hope you'll join me for it. John, look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, pleasure, Mike. Guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys and myself and John and the father-in-law building this project and getting it up and running. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.